Hi there golf fanatics, Adam Bazalgette here from Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, knee movement in the backs, when we'll give you three specific tips and just kind of get into what you should be looking for. So Gary Woodland on the right, US Open champion a few years ago, and Matthew Wolf on the left. Let's have a look at Gary. And as we look at the knees, this is the main point I would make to you. The movement of them should be fairly symmetrical. It doesn't have to be precisely so, but fairly so. That is to say the trail knee moves back approximately the amount the front knee moves forward. Slight difference there in his case. And if we look at Matthew Wolf here, let's get him ready to start. Let's go just at the front of that front knee poking out there you see something fairly similar. His left knee has probably poked out a fraction more than his right knee moved back. Now, big difference in the amount they're moving their legs. We'll get into some of the parameters that may change that for you as an individual when we get outside here. That felt reasonably good. First comment here, the trail knee, the right knee for the right-handed golfer, I'm not a big fan of when people try to keep it exactly in one spot. I think it's overly restrictive. They roll that ankle or that foot in. I think it's unnatural. I wouldn't try to do that. What I would be trying to do is trying to pivot my body properly so that the lower body just more or less reacts. I'd try this drill. I love this one, arms out. Pivot so that your arms, if you like a perpendicular to your turn, you'll get the feeling that you need of how that trail side stretches up into the air. And as it stretches, it pulls the hip with it, it creates some of this symmetrical movement. That's all that's moving the knees. Right hip goes up and behind you, left hip slightly goes down and in front of you. Three tips, don't force it. Don't try to move your knees around and make it too concocted or make it too artificial. Number two, balance is key. When you practice this, let's get the club back in the hands. You always want to sense that, hey, I'm in balance. Certainly my weight's going into that back heel a little bit, but the symmetry of it should keep you in balance. And the final tip is when you're looking in a mirror, the tilt on your belt line, your pivot, that belt line should stay pretty darn close to that tilt. It isn't a level pivot as you go back. Now I mentioned at the beginning when we were looking at the guys on video, some players just have a lot more knee movement than the others. You saw Matthew Wolf. The reason for that, primarily flexibility. If you're not very flexible, for you to make a good full pivot, listen, you don't hit the ball with your knees, you hit it with the golf club. So if you're gonna move the club well back there and you're not that flexible, you will need to have some looseness or some mobility in your lower body. The other thing, honestly, swing styles. You've got a Bobby Jones or a Payne Stewart, a lot of motion, a lot of, Phil Mickelson, for that matter, it just suits their style is to have more motion, create more of a swinging situation. You get a Tony Finau or someone, they're more of tension and thrash the ball. They're just natural style is for more resistance and tension. Well, I hope that's helpful for you with knee movement in the backswing. Again, should be natural, should be balanced, should create some sort of talk, but not be too restrictive for you. If you have a question or a comment, be glad to get to as many as I can. Just leave those in the box below.